I have not really played Project Hospital, but I wanted to for a long time. So this is an indie game uh, made by a very small group of people. Um, and unlike, say, Theme Hospital or its modern remake Two Point Hospital, Project Hospital is meant to have a more sort of serious and realistic tone. Right? They're not like made up disease. Um, like, you know, the giant tongue disease or um, lightheadedness where your head is literally light bulb or anything like that. So you play PUBG. And let me tell you, if I had had a chance to set things up for it today, I might have actually gone out and picked up Red Dead Redemption and just streamed from the Xbox or something. I really want to try it. We'll see how it goes. Hey, with the resubs! Du -du -du. Yeah. I, you may be getting an influx of people with bad burns and radiation poisoning. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe. Oh yeah, there it is in the chat. Lola coming in at 30th month. Shout out to Nulani who came in at 50 months. We got Gitzy coming in at six months over here and I don't have the right page open to catch all of the resubs. We'll try to keep an eye on that here. Log in, log in some more. Oh my God, two-factor authentication. I mean, which don't get me wrong, is like, is great, you know? Like this is so much more secure, but and I mean, you know, it would be really annoying if someone broke into my Twitch. But. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Now can you let me log in? Thank you very much. All right, there we go. So we had uh, old Manilis coming in for 17 months, one month away from the Magic 18. We got Norman the Dane at 33 months, jeez. And then Lola at 38 and Wolf at 35. We had uh, Hart. Parthak nut? I don't know how to parse your name. At 44 months though, we got it pinned in it a full year of sub. Thank you very much. 12 months there. Numbers, five months. Dr. Quill, I don't feel so good. Uh oh. Don't worry, this will be a snap. Hey, numbers! Or oh, so that was numbers. Coltane Crows at 47 months and Jameson for all at five and Defective Automaton at 20. My bad if we missed some people here, but we're gonna have to get started at some point. Rainbow Six Siege is having free weekend. Really? I've got, I've, got, I've got a couple of real-life friends who play that game obsessively. I've meant to maybe jump in there. We'll see. We will see. We will see. Mostly, I'm still playing a lot of Dota. Uh, just finished the last CK2 video, and I have streamed to watch. Man, that CK2 is going so awesome. I'm so pleased with that. Um, also, the, um, the Surviving Mars. I don't remember what episode's just gone up, but there was one episode that ended with a game crash. But it was fine, because there was an autosave just like a couple of souls before. Basically nothing had happened. So I start the next episode, my plan was just like, fast forward to where the audit, where the um, the game had died, and then we'll keep going from there. Well, we started up, and this time, this is not happened in the main run, but this time there was like a horrible meteor storm right on the center of the base. It was like a reverse save scum, right? We like, the game crashed, we had to reload for an autosave, and things got much worse which when we're talking about something like um, Surviving Mars and whatnot, it's a lot more fun. So it's gonna be a good one. Right, end of episode five, there was maybe, a, maybe that one was like one of the crash. So episode six starts with like, everything's on fire and everything's terrible. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Then Gackers, it usually just sticks around for a couple of days and then everything gets good and then it comes back a couple of weeks later. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's start with Project Hospital. So I basically played nothing. I did go into here and I played through the three tutorials. That's all I have done so far. Um, we could jump into the campaign or try a challenge, but I'm thinking of just going into the sandbox mode and playing things from scratch. Is that, I don't know what would be more fun. Like with the campaign, I'm assuming we're gonna start with a little bit of a building here. It says in depth over here. So we'll start in depth with partial hospital. But I'm thinking about just starting from scratch. Uh, that was a weird thing to make. Oh, I see why Twitch chat, like, sort of flagged that, that line. That's funny. Now, one thing about this game is every time I tab out, it does kill the sound. Um, there might be a way for me to keep it in a sort of, like, windowed mode instead or something, but it should be okay. Next Project Caprica episode was supposed to be this week, but I had my hard time wrapping my head around it. Um, then I thought, oh, maybe I'll do a programming stream today, and I'm just not in the brain instead for that. So hopefully really soon. Um, and Let Him Dare is two or three weeks away as well. Um, and I'm still thinking, I'm, instead of Ludum Daring, we might just work on Project, Cop Project Caprica, basically, for like a good chunk of the weekend, which might be a lot of fun. So I think we're gonna do that. I guess I'm gonna start with... So there's six different empty maps. 
there's larger ones, but the thing is you can build up in levels here, so I don't know if the map size is as critical, but I guess we'll start with a 96 by 96 map. Biggest empty field, if we can vote. So yeah, it looks like either 64 by 64 or 96 by 96. There are both, those are the two sizes available. Um, and then other than that, maybe it's just slightly different cosmetics with parking spots and whatnot. So we've got this area over here. Now, I mean, the graphics aren't... It's whiskey Guys, I've got some sort of crazy disease. Oh no! Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Ah! <laughs> hey, Cat of Nine Tails, thank you very much. Oh, I know what it is. It's the green from the grass that's being projected onto my arms and making me see through. Whoop. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so I was gonna say something like the graphics aren't like quite as slick, but they're pretty good and they're pretty clear and I'll do that. So let's try to remember what I got done in the tutorial. Again, there's very little here. Um, our first goal is to open an emergency clinic, treat one patient, that should be okay. Um, so there's management modes over here. There's a bunch of different um, departments you can have. So we're gonna start by working on the emergency department. There's also, am I getting sparklies over here? Oh my God, we're gonna have to get rid of this pure green screen soon because this is gonna be really weird. See through teeth? Oh gosh, I got serious tooth decay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, radiology, intensive care units, general surgery, internal medicine department, orthopedy, orthopedy, orthopedy. How do you pronounce this one? Oh, I'm in front of the thing. Hold on, let me move the camera to be over here. Look, I'm no longer see-through now because I'm tabbed out. See, everything is fine now. And then I come back into the game and I have that healthy green glow again. This is, this is great. Um, what else do we have? What is this one? must be cardiology. Give me a tooltip. Cardiology and neurology. So lots of different departments to work on. We're going to start with the emergency department. The, the bare minimum we need to get this running is a waiting room, a doctor's office, and a restroom. Just the very basics. So let's start with that. Hockey mouth. Yeah. Makes me want to watch, um, is it Slapshot that I'm thinking of? Probably. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to go into build mode over chocolate. here. Hey, it's cool, man. Hey, I sprained my left wrist last Saturday, and how are you doing today? Well, maybe we can treat you in one of our medical departments over here um, as we go forward. So we're in build mode here. So it's sort of like, it's almost like The Sims. You've got your game mode, your build mode, and then there's this manage mode over here. Uh, we start by building foundations. You can see we can add new floors. So there's gonna be, you can do multi-level stuff. That's fine. I mean, there's a parking lot over here. It's we'll, we'll start with just a relatively it. simple clinic. Hey, Joe Lotto, thank you very much. Uh, I haven't donated in some time. And everyone knows whiskey and chocolate is the best medicine. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if the whiskey truly is. Although let, let's not tell anyone that I said that out loud. What I want to do here is I want to have a little clinic sort of wrapped around this little driving spot. You know, just a local clinic, like a walk-in clinic. Um, for, you know, moderate emergencies and things like that. We may or may not, you know, develop this to a full emergency um, ward with like ambulances and things later on, we'll see. So we got that, um, then we've got walls and walls come in like completely different colors, like di different patterns and then colors. Like if you wanna go like full on like design mode over here, you can do it. I'm thinking we might just start with plain white walls. Um, I can see us later on doing something like maybe color coding our, our, our departments um, a little bit. You know, maybe we'll use a little wood paneling. A little cozy sort of thing. I'm just gonna wall up the entire outside here. And I like the little guides to help you plan your straight lines. It's gonna be okay. If we do this, there we go. We'll get the, the sort of see-through walls over here. That's gonna be swell. I mean, there's floor patterns. I guess that's it. We actually haven't floored this floor yet. Um, just some sort of tile. Seems like a good idea. How much money do we have? Okay, well, we got 80 grand left over. Maybe I should have saved money and gone without without tiles for a little while, but that's okay. Um, we got windows and doors, furniture, equipment, decoration, and there's like lots of different stuff in these categories. And then there's prefabs, actually. If you don't want to go and like hand place everything for a room, you can use a prefab. Um, so for example, we could set up a generic uh, waiting room for us uh, like this, which seems actually fairly nice. I'm tempted to just do a little bit of that. Um, I like these corridors too. It's not a real room, but that's fine. Um, 
reception areas and things. I mean, I don't even know if we need a proper reception. I mean, prop the reception's yeah, sort of kind of going to be a waiting chocolate. room, in a sense. Serga, hey, thank you very much! Liquor stores are also type of walking clinic. Ha ha ha! Um, how do we put down... Hang on, I'm trying to remember. We got foundations. How do we go into the planning room? The planning mode. I know if we go here and we click on a room like waiting room, then we can do this. Maybe that's just the way to do it. So a waiting room over here. We'll um, we'll plan to have a little um, a little bathroom here. And our first doctor's office. I mean, I want halls and things like that. Maybe something like this, and then actually the waiting room. I might go and sort of extend you over here. Okay. So, for walls, we can just sort of see the outline of our rooms here. I don't think I'm going to wall off the, um, the waiting room. I think we'll do something kind of like this. You know, we might build a bit more of reception in the front. That's going to be okay. We need some doors. Um, our entrance, I think a double glass door, you know? It'll look nice. People will come in here. That's going to be okay. We'll just use a white door for the bathroom. And then maybe a little door with a window for the doctor's room over here. Something kind of like that. Okay. And then what happens, it's kind of cool. I love this. So if you're in build mode, right, you can look at all this different furniture and stuff. But what if you can do is you can click, and it's a little hard to see the white on white here. But if we click the ground of this room, this waiting room, it tells us all the items that would be a good idea in a waiting room. Um, the ones in yellow are suggested, they're recommended. If we click on the bathroom, you can see that there's an orange tint around the, the WC, the toilet over here. And this is to indicate that this is required to make this a functional room. So we'll do that. I mean, it's not gonna be a room with stalls or anything like that. It's just gonna be a single bathroom that's gonna be okay. Uh, we will give you a sink and a hand dryer and what the hell we'll put a we'll put a trash bin in there too um, right over here in the corner actually I think that's there we go oriented that way there we go nice little bathroom in there that should be okay uh, missed the first minute can you explain what this game is about we are building a hospital my friend this is project hospital so uh, here we have a our doctor's office for general diagnosis so what we're gonna have to do WC fields, water closets. I mean, that's such a, the game to me seems like it's a pretty um, American-y game because um, your patients, you have to deal with insurance companies and your patients have insurance or they're uninsured. And yeah, so I don't know, but they still refer to things as WCs. So there's a lot of things in here that are gonna be required. I mean, it's gonna be a challenge to sort of cram everything in here, but we're gonna do what we can. So we'll put a little exam table in the back. That's gonna be okay. Um, some of these are like, you, you only need one thing, like some sort of equipment cabinet. doesn't matter which one you use, as long as you have one of them. Um, we're going to want some sort of, some sort of tabletop surface. Um, maybe a little equipment table uh, right there. Can I have you, there we go, something like that. And then we can put the audio meter over there for hearing tests and things. Um, we will need a desk with a computer. Excellent. And an office chair. Oh yeah, so right now this computer is tinted blue here. It's a little hard to see, but it's tinted blue. And the reason is it's missing something. And um, if we were to mouse over or click it or whatever, yeah, there you go, see? How it's highlighting office chair and stool in blue, it means it's missing something for this part to work. So we can put a little office chair in there, now all of a sudden that's working okay. It's a little hard to tell sometimes because some of the furniture is just blue, which means it's like, okay, how do you tell the difference from one to the other? Uh, well, I guess we'll get a printer next to our computer here. That's gonna be okay, which means it also satisfies the paper holder thing, which is nice. Um, we'll put in a, a proper little sort of lab sink, say right here. Um, an equipment cabinet over there, excellent. Uh, biohazard bin right there. We need a CRP scanner, an excellent examination lamp. Now I think the scanner, so the scanner is what? Blood test, measuring concentration of C-reactive protein, okay. So we're gonna need a table for that as well. Um, 
I think I'll just get another tiny little equipment table right here, right next to the computer desk, and we'll put that down on top of that. That's gonna be okay. We need an eye test done, an examination lamp, which I guess we'll go there, um, and... Oh, is this yellow? Is it being blocked? I think it's being blocked. There we go. Done! Perfect! Trash bin for $150, what the hell? Ah, it's government prices. It probably includes all like the disposal, because I don't know if you have to worry about that. No, you do have to hire janitors. I don't know. Anyway, if we go back over to the um, management mode and check the emergency clinic, everything is green here. So we got a green check mark, so we're good to go. I mean, they would like some more of this stuff, but it's okay. I guess I could plan... Like, I guess I could plan a, an actual reception like that. Maybe with some staff. We may not need it early on, but let's plan for it. And it's funny that, like, Mark Cordor's room types enable automatic lights and janitor services. That's kind of interesting that you can actually mark out the corridor. Tell you what, we'll, we'll do that now in preparation for what's going to be later. Um, so this room isn't functional right now, but that's okay. I think we'll leave it be and not be too concerned. Now, we do need a doctor to work our doctor's office. We can hire people by going through this screen here, and we've got categories such as doctors, nurses, technologists, and janitors, Jan Itor. And people have all kinds of different uh, rankings and specialties and things like this. We can also hire appropriate people because if you are on a department, this is a workstation right here. Basically, every computer or whatever is a workstation. If we click that, it'll automatically pull up the correct thing. Um, yeah. Reception performs initial triage for mild and worse patient issues. Thanks, Wolf! I need a reception or else your patients are just going to wander into the doctor's office. Oh, sort of willy-nilly at any order they want. Ah, I see. So if we have reception, then we know that urgent patients will be seen faster, probably. Anyway, so we've got different doctors to choose from right now. Um, we can go over this. So this is their overall ranking. Um, I think they get a they get a first specialty at two ranks and a second one at four ranks. That's something I vaguely remember from the tutorial. Um, we can see their skills here: general medicine, acute medicine, diagnosis. None for this one over here. If you look at Judy here, for example, um, she's got higher rankings everywhere and can also do uh, anesthetology, which we don't really need at this time. So we might just go for the least expensive person here, um, Rachel Adams has skills that are going to be fine. We'll save some money. She has two hidden perks. We also know she's a diagnostic genius and she's fast, which is nice. We don't know what her other perks are, but we'll see. So we're going to grab Rachel Adams. And so she's been assigned to that desk. If I hadn't clicked on the desk first, I would have just dragged and dropped. You can drop them anywhere um, and they'll find an appropriate work site or you can drop them somewhere specific to force them to go to a specific work site. Hospital is now accepting patients has now enough staff to accept patients. First insurance companies are automatically contacted or contracted. So here are the various insurance companies we can work with um, and allow. Um, and there's abilities to unlock things. So right here we have uninsured people. And I think we've got them right away. And I assume they're enabled. There we go. So this is enabled. So they're going to send a certain number of people. We have bonus objectives and we got a reward for completing this. Uh, the 70% I'm betting is how much money we actually get for the treatment. So these covering these uninsured people, I don't think we get as much money um, as some of these others. But if we can unlock more things, like as soon as we treat one patient, we should be able to get contracted with cheapo care. So they'll start sending our patients our way as well. All right, we can hit play. Oh, right, uh, we were going to uh, maybe do the reception over here, um, which does require a computer, which probably needs means it needs some sort of desk. Uh, if I do something like that and throw a PC on there um, and uh, maybe give you an office chair, that's good. It does recommend some benches. So I'll have you there to wait to see reception. And then there's a proper waiting room over here for the people who have gone through reception, but aren't done yet, haven't been seen yet. We'll, uh, we'll get a little cue machine. Cue machine works together with one or more TVs. In this waiting room, the system provides smoother patient flow to adjacent rooms. I mean, that sounds handy. So you can check there and then watch your status on this TV over here. 
Sounds good. Maybe we'll get some fancy stuff later on when we know we have enough money to keep going. It seems like we're mostly okay for now, though. Oh, I'm betting I have to uh, hire someone for this, don't I? Yeah, missing staff. So we'll need a nurse over here. Probably don't need someone super skilled because all you're doing is checking people in. You're fast. Resistance, fast, hard worker. Does not take free breaks. Wow. Fast. Oh, rest resistance. Tell you what, we'll get you. You have a much higher patient care and everything. Did I, did I not hire you? Why can't I hire you? Oh, oh, it requires a receptionist skill for this. Okay, so I was right that there was a problem. So I have to hire Susan Lewis. Uh, it doesn't really highlight it, does it? Okay, so you have reception skill. Maybe it was, was it saying it anywhere that I was missing? At the top says required skill receptionist. Okay, it would be nice to auto filter that list of the people with the skills, but there we go. Okay. Done, done, done. So, clinic opening. Good. Let's go ahead and speed up a bit. Wait for some people to start arriving. Oh, we got a first patient! Now, here's what's cool about this game. And it's it's kind of brilliant and amazing. So, here's our patient. Now, we can have it all be automated. And by default, controlled by doctor. We're going to control this person manually in terms of his treatment. He's showing up. He's got seven hidden uh, symptoms. He's going to get an interview with our uh, receptionist. And we're going to get some first information here. Maybe. I mean, that, that is active. Come on, the doctor will see you now. Oh, there you go. It was up on the screen. All right. So you're being interviewed by the doctor, who's playing paying more attention to her game of solitaire or whatever. But we'll get some info. Um, he is feeling warm. Interesting. He's got a little bit of pain. Uh-huh. We'll continue with the interview for now. Well, we'll probably have to follow up with the physical examination. So we'll do that. Oh, your ankle is bruised, and you're, you can't move it very much. So we figure either you got an ankle contusion, which is a bruise, right? Or maybe a fracture. So we don't know. Um, we don't have the ability to x-ray and figure out if it's a break or not. So we're about 50-50, whether it's just effectively going to be a sprain or a fracture, fracture. Maybe we'll get a better sense after physical examination. But we may have to build an, an x-ray thing immediately. Really nice of you to put her next to the toilet. <laughs> we need to put him down, I'm afraid. <laughs> We're turning this into some sort of like horse doctor game. Um, yeah, procedures are finished. We still don't know. So we've done everything we can currently. Still has one hidden symptom. Swelling, pain, ankle bruise, joint immobility, tenderness. We have no idea what it is. Um, without an x-ray. Do we build an x-ray machine? I guess we probably should, shouldn't we? Let's get a radiology department going. Clearly need to amputate the foot to stop potential infections. And now we're playing RimWorld. So what I'm doing here is I'm switching to the radiology department. So it needs its own waiting room, which is kind of annoying, but I've been to hospitals and yeah, that's kind of how they work. And then we also need an x-ray room. So what we'll do is we'll get a nice big x-ray room over here. Maybe oh, it needs to be five by five. So we need this. We're going to have to path around this at some point as we expand, but we'll figure that out. Um, and then, yeah, you're going to get your own waiting room, which has to be, what, four by two, which is perfect. We can have a mini waiting room over here for the x-rays, and that's going to be fine. Um, let's go ahead and uh, build a wall. Well, uh, for the x-rays, we'll use yellow. But do we keep up with the wood paneling kind of thing? Oh, it doesn't actually color the walls of that, so the answer is no. Boom. Something like that. Door, we'll use the one with the x-ray symbol here. I don't think it matters, but that's okay. 
x-ray that. Um, we'll get a couple of benches here just for the people waiting to be treated for x-rays. And in the x-ray room, we need an actual x-ray, which is huge. And yeah, it needs, wow, it, it needs a ton of space. And then we somehow need to fit all this other stuff in here too. So if it's gonna have a PC, it's gonna need a desk. Okay. PC, which is gonna need an office chair. Um, X-ray control panel. And now you're complaining because I think there's a reach problem. Okay. X-ray viewer can just be up on a wall somewhere. That's fine. Um, and some sort of equipment cabinet which can also be something like that. Okay, so we're done. Uh, achievement unlocked, uh, more spots. I don't know what that's from, but we have gone and equipped ourselves a x-ray room. We're also gonna need staff. Required skill radiology, now I see it. Now all these technology or technologists have radiology skill. The person with the best radiology is Carol Harris over here. She's also the most expensive. This guy looks like a character out of Rick and Morty or something with those worried eyes. I guess they're all fairly pricey. What's this? Long commute, long drive from home can often be late for work. Ow, damn. Susan is a gamer, so resting is much faster. Well, we would clearly want to hire a gamer. Come on, done. Excellent, Susan Hernandez. Hernandez, welcome to the party. So now we have radiology available. So what is this guy named? David Robinson. We can now go and say, all right, we need to x-ray you to find out if it's a break or not. Although, for all I know, the treatment's going to be the same. <laughs> Peace, love, and healthcare. Just call her human Hernandez. Yes, yes, I did. There you go. So you're waiting for the x-ray, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, here, we can go and say player controlled in this person as well. Uh, interview just finished. Um, you got your triage over there. We have no idea. We All we know about... Karen Hill is that she's running a fever. 50 year old factory worker, uninsured, because all of our people are at this time. Um, nasal cavity inspection. <laughs> We're gonna look right up your nose. Um, but probably you've got, you probably just have a flu or a cold or something. Let's listen to your chest. It's lupus. <laughs> it's never lupus. Except that time where it was. Oh, buddy's down to his jockey shorts. We're gonna x-ray his leg. <gasps> Guys, we're gonna get banned from Twitch here. Explicit graphics. Oh, all right. You have been checked. Oh, that didn't do anything. Checking your chest. In all right, well, let's do just a physical examination here. Neurological testing. Maybe you're just crazy. Could happen. How's David doing? He's still being x-rayed. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You have elbow stiffness. You have a fever and elbow stiffness, and our diagnosis might be golfer's elbow or elbow bursitis. But what's the... the to me... This doesn't explain the fever. Is it just me? Or does like, you know, some amount of tendonitis not explain a fever? Hmm. Well, oh, we can do temperature. And then we could up, x-ray your upper limb, but I don't think x-raying will do anything. We will take your temperature. You say you're feeling warm, but maybe it's not the case. 